Combat Waterfall, take two. So this is how we're going to change. i got a full screen going here, Robert, so you can see the whole deal. That's the mess of my screen right now. That's my little movie editor. So I, I click on the pixel editor that I told you to click on. First thing you do is you take that Combat Waterfall picture that you wanted. That isn't, it's, uh, and we're going to turn it into vector. So I'm just showing you some of the buttons on the side, how to make it work. Basically, you've got to just uh, select it, find the little magic bar, click on it, and that erases the white background. Then you click on the white, click on those, that erases the white background. Now this is turning it into a transparent PNG file. Wazam! It's done. That simple. Now we're going to save it. Now you can, actually I'm going to show you a little trick here. This is how you add text if you want to just screw around and make something. So it's just simple. You add text, you go up to the little text bar, kind of delete that, just type in something. I'm going to type in Alaska just to kind of show you. Little sizes are on the side. You can pick whatever color, flavor you want. It's pretty easy. You know, I'm just going to screw around here a minute and show you some different stuff. Anyway, my ADD is getting the best of me, but here we go. I don't know why I'm taking so long, but I'm screwing around just for a sample. There, I kind of like that. Drag and drop it down there where you want. Now you can go over to resize, click on your button again, find your little toolbar. There's a slider, size slider. You can move it back and forth, size the text, whatever you want. Bang. Again, now this is all transparent background, so this you could save it as an overlay. You do the same thing if you have a regular picture and you just want to put text on it. You put the picture in there and click on the little text bar. I'm going to go a little fancy here. I'm going to show you a little shadow. There you go. Pick a color, pick a shade, whatever you want. There's sliders that make it different sizes, colors. Just kind of pick whatever you want. And then you can do the thickness or the density. Like I said, you can't really hurt nothing. Screw around with it. That just separates the texture, the lettering a little bit. But anyway, this one's getting a little long-winded. But just to show you, I'm giving you a quick tutorial how to work in this little pixel editor. Anyway, I decided I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to your normal one, so I'm going to close to save that. I'm going to delete this. Just click on that. Hit delete button. Bang, that's gone. Okay, now we're back to your just a standard combat ping. I'm going to save this as a PNG this time. I'm going to rename it. Make sure the PNG blue button is pushed up there. I just put PNG in the name um, so that I know when, what it is. You know, I don't get screwed up, whether it's a JPEG or a pig. You hit save. Same thing, goes up to the folder, click folder blah 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 now you got it rename it save it in your desktop or whatever folder you want go up hit save bang there now it's saved we shut this down now we go grab a picture and shazam oh i'm going to crop it down a little bit because you had that whole background that was too big so we're just going to crop that down again Apples are a little easier to do some of this stuff. I don't know if you can do all this on a Mac without going back in, but so now we're gonna down saved it. I'm gonna open it up, drag it onto my desktop, close this down. We're gonna open up a new one. So I'm gonna shut all this down. Bang. Now I'm gonna go grab another picture off my desktop that I've got. I don't know, I'll just find something here. Got to put it in that little the photo box on the bottom. That's where you always start. Make new. Got to find the little button here. Mold. Bang. There's the picture. So now you go back over. The same deal. Oh, I forgot to push the add a picture. Add an image. Bottom one. Now the little box opens up in the top. Click the new picture in there. 
there's your PNG overlay. Now that one doesn't look so good on this background, but that's okay. We're still going to show you. I'd use, you know, maybe a lighter background or darker or something. I'm not sure. That one might be hard to show up unless you got it straight on like yellow or tan or something. But anyway, I'm just showing you how it looks on the picture. So we're going to put the other one in there and show you how to do two of them on this one. There's the other one I did earlier. See, that one looks kind of cool on here. And then I'm going to drag the other one, move them around a little bit get it all set. I'm just going to get my screen here. Anyway, we're still screwing around with all this stuff. Trying to find it to make it fit, kind of. But anyway, you get the idea. You move wherever you want it, then you just save it, put it back on your folder, and you got it. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Rename it, save it, blah, blah, blah. Move on, and it all going to work out. Hopefully that's going to help you out. That's how to do basic editing to put a, a overlay or a photo or a PNG file in another picture. Thanks. Bye.